How to use Press Permit to regulate direct file URL access to images, documents, or other uploads. In a previous video, I explained how these files were uploaded by members of various BuddyPress groups and are accessible only to fellow BuddyPress group members. I'm going to run a simple test on this by logging out but leaving this screen displayed so I can use the media and post links. Well, let's see what the anonymous user sees from a view link first for an image that is attached to an unreadable post next for an unattached image, and then for an unattached document. For the image that's attached to an unreadable post, we get a 404 not found. For the unattached image, it's displayed, and the unattached document is linked for download. But that attached image needs a closer look. The link that I hit from the media library is a WordPress attachment URL. But what about the URL for the image file itself? Even though the WordPress attachment URL returns not found for this anonymous user, the image can still be viewed if the direct file URL is known. So with WordPress 3.6 stock, or with our press permit configuration up to this point, Every file uploaded to the site is publicly accessible, whether it's unattached or attached to a public or private post. All that's needed for access is knowledge of the upload folder and file name. Well, the good news for press permit users is there's a very easy solution to this problem. One of the extension plugins available to press permit pro users is the PP file URL filter. Let's activate that and see what happens. Now I'm going to log out and take a look at those image links again. So after activating the PP file URL extension, images and other files attached to unreadable posts are no longer accessible by direct file URL. Unattached images and documents are still treated as public by default, but PP file URL filter puts an option on the press permit settings screen to impose the read others unattached files capability. In that way you can configure which roles are allowed to read unattached files. For those of you who are curious about the inner workings, the file URL access is regulated by creating an HT access file in the uploads folder. A separate rule is written for each file that needs to be protected. Thumbnails and resized copies of images are also protected, but if you would rather boost performance in the WordPress backend by not filtering the small thumbnails, that is an option. Logged in as an administrator, go to the Permissions menu and click Settings. Click on the Advanced tab, and there's the option for small thumbnails unfiltered. The Uploads HT Access file defines a separate secret key for each protected file. When the file URL filter determines that a requested file access should be permitted, a 302 redirect is sent with the required key argument appended. Since this keyed file URL does go back out to the browser, it's always possible for a user to pass on a full access file URL link. To mitigate that, the plugin provides a maintenance link to regenerate the upload's HT access file with new file keys. By hitting this URL with your own cron service, you can give your file URLs as short a lifetime as you want. If you're wondering about multi-site network installations, the file URL filter does work there too. If you started from a fresh 3.5 or later installation, you probably won't notice much difference from single site, but older installations of WordPress multi-site had a different way of handling file URLs. Because of that, if your multi-site installation still uses MS Files Redirect, then you'll see this additional dialog in your settings screen. It's telling you that there are some additional rules that you'll need to add to your main HT access file. And the bad news is that's not a one-time operation. There needs to be a separate rule added each time a new site requires file filtering. The plugin won't make those changes for you automatically, but it does let you trigger that change with the click of a button right here.